All right, hello everybody. Welcome to the channel. It is B Dub A Fizzle, aka Aetha Spades, aka Aetha One Thirty Seven, aka Harry Balzania. You know, whatever you may know me out there in the MMO universe. Uh, this is my first Marvel Future Fight video. Uh, today I'm going to give you a couple tips for new and returning players. Uh, I myself am a returning player. I stopped playing after about two months after launch. There just wasn't enough content to keep me interested. However, man, have they expanded this game so much. There is so much more to do. Um, full disclosure, I do spend money on this game. 11,000 crystals. I don't buy thousands and thousands of crystals of, at a time. I do spend like $10 a week though. Uh, however, new players, you do not need to spend anything. They give you so much. And if you follow these tips, I'm going to help you catch up to where the grind isn't as bad. And you will feel competitive against some of the more longer term players. Now, when I came back to this game, I've been playing for about a month now. When I came back to this game... My roster was terrible. I could barely do any of the new content they had because my roster was so terrible. And then I was like, oh, yeah, maybe I can, you know, get a six-star Iron Man. You know, Iron Man has to be good, right? Eh, he's okay. But it's mostly, unless you are a huge uh, comic book nerd, and I'm not a comic book nerd, I'm a video game nerd, but you would have never heard of Korath or Morgan Le Fay or Minerva, who are actually some of the better characters of the game. Now, almost every character is pretty handy at tier 2, but for the most part, this is just base generic characters. Like, you would think a 6 star Cyclops would be awesome. He ain't. Nope. Okay, but that's not why you're here. You are here... To learn how to shorten your grind, to learn how to become more competitive, to learn how to beat some game modes. And this is what I, I'm going to show you how. I'm going to tell you how to do it. First and foremost, save your crystals. I know you only get like 20, 30 at a time, but save them. I know you just need that one bio, so you have to buy energy because you don't want to wait that extra 20 minutes to get the four energy to farm that one bio. Don't do it. That is a waste of 100 crystals that can be saved for something bigger and better. And I will get into something bigger and better in a later video. But right now, one of the most important things, new and returning players, save your crystals. Unless, of course, you're a whale. If you're a whale, whale away. Spend all your crystals. Because you can get more. Me, I am not a whale. I do spend on the game, but I am not a whale. 11,000 crystals. That is me saving up for like, what? I spend 10, 20 dollars on this game a week. So that's four or five weeks plus me saving up the crystals. Because yes, it gives you 20, 30 at a time, but it adds up. Okay, number two, save your resources. When I say resources, I am not talking about your ISO weights or your custom gear. I am talking about your materials, like your Norn Stones, your Norn Stone of Chaos, and your uh, Black Antimatter. Save those. These two, if you're just starting out at the beginning, they are going to be hard to come by, especially these gear up kits. It is going to be super difficult to get them. However, as you can see, I am not hurting for gear up kits right now. I don't know if that'll change later, but it'll be important. It's important at the beginning, okay? I, I, it's important. Yes, save them until it's time for you to use them. But most importantly, I am talking about your rank up tickets, your fours, your fives your sixes hell even your twos and your threes save them the reason why you save them 
is because there are so many things that you can farm in this game that you'll want to use the tickets to skip the farming. But this game is a grind. That is the point of this game. It is to grind. Now, when I say grind, I don't mean the tedious, boring, oh, I gotta go through this again. Let me grind this again so I can get this character. No, I am talking about you see your progression. You see the what you're trying to achieve. It doesn't feel, oh yeah, I just got this character six star, cool. It actually feels like an accomplishment. What you want to use these for, and your Mega Mastery tickets, Mega means it goes from zero to six instantly. So if you see Mega in front of anything, It'll go from zero to whatever that is instantly in your tier two advancement. Those you want to save as well. Now, the reason why I say that is because these characters you see here, most of them are farmable. And not just kind of farmable, I mean easily farmable. Captain America, there are three different chapters you can get 10 of his bios from so that's up to 30 a day you can get his bios all right iron man's the same way ronin slash hawkeye is the same way captain marvel you get six star just for uh entering her mission that can be your very first six star character now because i didn't know this there are premium characters, a.k.a. paywall characters. These include, but are not limited to, you know, Rescue, Luna Snow, Nick Fury, Sentinel, Ghost Panther. Those characters, and the ones I do not have unlocked now, because those are all paywall characters, and I didn't know that from my premium selection. But... These premium characters, you cannot farm them. You have to purchase their biometrics. So your rank up tickets are best used for them. I did not know that. I was like, hey, I really like Hellstorm. I'm going to six star him. Boom, I six starred him. And you can farm his bios. I wish I would have known then. You know how many six star tickets I used because I did not know that? The answer is like four, but that's not important. The game will give you four six star hero selectors. Do not, under any circumstance, use them on Iron Man, Captain Marvel, Black Panther, War Machine, Spider-Man, or Ant-Man. The reason why I say never under any circumstances is because if you are Oops. If you are a new or returning player, there is something called Legendary Battle. When you open it, you will get these free six star characters just for playing these missions. Instantly free. You can play them. You do not have to have the characters that are in there. They give you standard base characters for the missions to play. And you can beat them with those characters. So once you get them, boom, you instantly have those six star characters. So if you use them on those characters, you are just wasting those tickets. Um, but yeah, so save your crystals and save your resources. That is basically the most important things at the beginning. In the next video, I will go over more details on what those character selectors should be used on or who those I suppose is more proper who those selectors should be used on what you should be spending your crystals on and anything else you guys may have which you can leave questions in the comments save your crystals save your resources I repeat Save your crystals. Save your resources. Alright. This is B-Dub Thizzle. Peace and out. Y'all have a great day. And I will see you in the next video.